The Legend of San Marino In 257 AD, Roman emperors Diocletiano and Massimiliano decided to rebuild the walls and seaport in the city of Rimini, which was destroyed by Demosthenes, king of the Livornians. Architects, masons and workers came from everywhere. Among these two able stone masons named Marino and Leo, distinguished for their moral virtues, came from the Dalmatian island of Rab. Look, Marino, that is the bridge of Tiberio. We have reached Rimini. Finally! Rebuilding the city won't be a piece of cake. But we can do it with our Lord's help. After some time... Work is progressing, but we need stone. They asked me to go on to Mount Titania to mine for stones. Are you coming with me? Of course! The two friends worked for years in the quarry of Mount Titano. We've finished our job. We can go now. I will go back to Rimini. I will go to Montefeltro instead. But there was an unexpected surprise waiting for Marino in Rimini. You've abandoned me, my love. I'm your wife. I never been married. I don't know you. Help! Marino looked for refuge on Mount Titano. Maybe I'll be safe here. Come out, darling. She'll never find me. Come out! But where is he? The line lady waited for a long time, but there was no trace of Marino. I'm tired of waiting. I'm leaving. What luck! Marino decided to stay on Mount Titano. I will build a church here. For many years, my life is dedicated to the Lord. Our Father. But Young Verissimo, son of Felicissima, owner of Mount Titano, bothered the holy man. Get out of my land! I'm not doing anything wrong, though. If you don't go away, I show you! I swear! Suddenly, as if hit by lightning, the bird fell paralyzed onto the ground. Ooh. What's happening, young boy? Oh, Marino, save my son, Verissimo! Noble woman, Felicissimo, I don't know how to help you. I can only pray for your son. Help him, for pity's sake! Marino prayed intensively. Our Father. Four days. Until Verissimo was miraculously healed. Thanks, goodness, you can move. Yes, ma'am. Thanks, Marino. I'll be grateful to you for all my life. Come to my palace. Let's go home. I've got something for you, Marino. Since you healed my son, I name you the rightful owner of Mount Titano. Thanks, noble woman, Felicissimo. Marino kept on living on Mount Titano, 
building a small community of people around him. According to tradition, at the time of his death, in 301 AD, Anno Domini, he spoke these words. I leave you free from both men, emperor and pope.